Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Miles. Okay, never mind, that doesn't feel right. Anyways, if you guys are new here, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're old and you've been watching these videos, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, um, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you guys, um, I streamed this morning playing some Call of Duty, some Grand Blue Fantasy, had a random live stream where I showed a thrift haul and yada yada, saying some um, I'm just gonna start from the top here. But we got these Solomon's, Solomon Snow Cross 2s. Literally brand new at the thrift store. This is crazy. I've never found a pair of Solomon's, but if you guys are at size 13, let me know. And then we got a bunch of single stitch tees that I honestly was not um, anticipating to find. Nothing too crazy, but um, we have this. Bush Gardens tee, this thing, pretty cool. Single stitch on the hefty TJs, um, single stitch. That one's kind of cool. Purple, you guys know uh, how I feel about purple. Don't love it, but we have Washington DC single stitch. This is an 80s one on the Hanes 5050. Love this tag here. There you guys can kind of see that there. If it'll zoom in, focus, there you go. Just cruising. This one's really cool. Um, size large yet again this one is from like the 80s or 90s hey uh vintage 70s how's it going bro just showing off some thrift finds here uh we have this i liked the the type on this shirt it says tropitan <laughs> single stitch t-shirt orange good color literally andy warhol albert einstein graphic t-shirt nicely faded which is kind of why i grabbed it um, and why I gravitated towards this because it was faded. Loved a little <laughs> pop art piece from Andy Warhol. Um, um, and then two of the best things that I found, um, I guess this is probably my favorite thing to be honest. I believe this is from the 70s. We have the 70s, uh, the t-shirt exhibition, DIA, Detroit Institute of Art. If you guys don't know, um, I graduated from Wayne State down in Detroit in like 2015. Um, like during some of my free time, like hours on campus, like I would go to the DIA because um, it was like free for students and stuff. But anyways, here's the T. Super, super cool. This one will be for sale. Honestly, I wish these fit me. They're so soft, but we have these 70s uh, camo pants, 70s Cabela's camo pants. Um, and they have the my favorite zipper which is the Talon 42 zipper. I can't really show you guys. Um, here you go, Instagram, there you go. And here you go, YouTube, <laughs> if you can kind of see. as a Talon 42 zip. These are kind of small. Honestly, I'd probably say they're like a 28 waist. Um, so a little too small for me, but that is pretty much everything that I found. Um, and it's funny, someone definitely tried these on because they were cuffed when I found them, but all this stuff will be for sale um, If you guys want to follow my vintage page on Instagram at shop to some things you guys probably already know Shameless promo for my wife if you guys need any drawings <laughs> or paintings Reach out to my wife. Um, her art page is at Beth's beloved blessings on Instagram on Etsy um, I'm sorry on Instagram and Etsy and Facebook um, but Bethany this is, she drew this portrait of Landon, painted it, sorry. Look at that. Is that not good? Somebody. Somebody. Who's Easy Drew? Hi, Easy Drew. Thank you so much for watching. Love you too. God bless you. Oh, there is. <laughs> oh, that's a little more emphasis. <laughs> All right, guys, I didn't even notice in this painting, but look, dude, there you go. Can you guys see this drool right here? Bethany drew his drool. You can't change me
Cause we lost it all Nothing lasts forever I'm sorry I can't be perfect now Okay, and welcome back. We are going to be going thrifting um, real quick. It's family night uh, with for Bethany's family. So we are um, just going thrifting and then we're driving down to her parents' house for dinner. Um, and we're probably gonna play some games. I don't know, just hang out with um, her mom's side of the family. So super nice that we're able to do this. Nikki's in town from Canada. So we get to see her and Graham, I believe. And uh, yeah, you guys already know, we're gonna show you guys anything that we find at Goodwill. Hopefully we can find something good. If not, um, yeah, this video will probably be dropping in like a week or two, probably from the time of recording this. So um, if you guys are watching this, the stuff that I find probably won't be listed. But if you see something that you want, please let me know. Myla's crying. So yeah, let's just, uh, we'll see you guys at Goodwill. <laughs> She's a sleepy girl. She's sleepy. Say hi. Oh, he just woke up from a nap. He's always in a cuddly mood after his naps. Say hi. Can you wave? Wave, wave. Wave. You're being shy. Okay. Ready? Look. Here. Alright, guys. We are at Goodwill, but super busy. I looked at the jackets, I looked at some t-shirts. Um, not some t-shirts, some jackets, and I haven't found anything, so. I haven't really recorded much yet again, but let's see how fast we can get through here. Oh boy, I'm having a hard time recording because Myla's crying, she's not happy. All right guys, so Myla's crying real quick, so I'm gonna show you guys, I found a hundreds t-shirt. That's pretty cool. While she was screaming, I also found this. I have this shirt, super cool. Signal, enjoy Coca-Cola. Love this one, single stitch. It's probably like an 80s one. So we're definitely gonna grab that one, but let's see, I'm trying to go fast because she is upset. So there's a Fox Racing, should I grab this? I don't know, it's like a Y2K. This is a really big one, X XL, Fox. Maybe I'll consider. Y2K has been doing really, really well on Depop. Um, so maybe we shall see. Mm, Wilson's, I feel like that was there before. Okay, found another red piece here. Detroit Wings, late 90s one on a TNT tag. Cool, 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 cool. Wow, already starting off pretty good. Even though my patience has been wearing thin. Short section here. Really the first pair of shorts I saw. Gotta grab these. Orange tab 550 jorts. These are sweet. Super cool. Also, current recording the aisle, but found this crazy mercenaries. Never die t-shirt. Single stitch on like the 80s. Screen stars. Really, really cool. This one will probably sell. Gotta take, gotta take a, Goodwill rack pick. Perfect. <laughs> Supermarket sweep. I'm going so fast. Let's see. This is literally the second time I've seen this here, but literally remake of the black label Lee tag. Dude, who's kid is this? He's screaming. <laughs> Literally went through all these racks and I haven't found a single bind up. A single one. Not a single one. And that's sad. It's kind of fun. I think there's another one of that actually. Somewhere. But. Oh boy, here we go. No button ups, no nits, no nothing. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> Mommy went into the fitting room. Well, Andy and I are here and he's screaming. Look, look, can you say hi to YouTube? Where's mama? Where is she? Just over there? Bethany's trying on a skirt, so. Kind of just chilling. 
going through the sweats. It's like the last aisle for me, I think. And then, ooh, that's kind of nice. That's like a 90s one, 80s, 90s, nope. Y2K, okay. You matter. Is this some sort of like Christian thing? You matter. But no, I'm strong. But I know I'm strong. I feel weak, but I know I'm strong. It's probably some sort of Christian organization. That would be more, I guess. All right. Let's power through the sweats here after hours till dawn. I don't know what that is. This is a tiny crop top sweater. What's the even the point, Chevy. And it is literally screaming. After this, I'm probably gonna let Bethany roam around. And that'll probably be the last of the clips I record, most likely. Um, so, you guys made this far. You haven't already? Don't forget to like and subscribe. This won't be the end of the video, but I feel like I need to remind you guys to subscribe, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> or don't subscribe. Somebody bought the Red Russell hoodie because it's no longer here. Maybe they watched my video. I was honestly considering buying it today too. I'm sorry, not a hoodie, this is a zip up. A little like 90s. Not as, okay guys, well, that's it. I'm gonna let Bethany, I'm gonna take Landon for Bethany and she can have Myla while she looks around, so. All right, well, we were done and then I was perusing through the women's section and I found this for Bethany. She loves Winnie the Pooh. Um, I'm pretty sure we found this one on a t-shirt or something, but it was purple and she doesn't love purple. I don't love purple, so we ended up selling it. So here's this one though. Hey guys, <laughs> kids are screaming, but I want to do this quick taste test. We're trying out a new coffee shop out by Ikea. So, ooh, that's actually really good. I don't know if it's they're... Look how pretty that is. Really, really cool. Kids just woke up, so they're cranky, but. Okay, well, we'll see you guys at Ikea. Pro Ikea tip, always get a veggie dog and a soft serve ice cream at least once while you're here in Ikea. Say hi. Say hi, it's the Landy Cam. <laughs> here you go, veggie dog, we got some Swedish mustard, pickled radish, and some fried onions. Crispy onions, whatever they're called. Some of you are probably wondering what we're doing here at Ikea. We're honestly just kind of looking for house stuff, I guess. Um, if you guys didn't already know, we bought a king size mattress that just came in yesterday. Super stoked on that. We bought a king size frame off Facebook Marketplace. Um, what did I say? Oh, the mattress was off Amazon. If you guys want like a um, a good deal on like a hybrid mattress, check Amazon. Um, it's a lot cheaper for sure. Um, so yeah, anyways, we'll show you guys, if, I don't know, stuff when we walk around. <laughs> or if you don't care, I have to show the thrift haul from the other day. So if you guys just want to skip ahead to the end of the video, go ahead if you guys don't care about any of this stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching anyway. This is one thing at Ikea I see every time and I still want it. One of these like glass medicine cabinets, um, but they don't no longer have the color that I want. Guys, I need a new office chair, but why the heck is this $400? Tell me, why, what is this, dude? Why are your chairs so expensive? All right, guys, we're on a mission trying to find some new uh, kind of dressers -like type stuff, but we want to utilize like the ceiling space in our bedroom to save like floor space. So we're trying to go with like something like this over here, like you can see, um, if you guys can see here, like this opens this way. Like we wanna use these as um, dresser space for like clothing and stuff. What in the world, that one doesn't open. Yeah, so sweet. So far we got some like pillowcases, um, uh, shoe mats, and I got a desk, cork desk mat. And uh, we got some cup holders for our desks. <laughs> okay. The single thing I came here for, some new kitchen knives. Cause if you guys don't know, we be cooking up in the kitchen. Oh. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Fair warning, after buying a king size set, you need to buy, literally upgrade all your bedding stuff. So here we have one that's on sale, 
49 or 40.99 dude that's still expensive but 20 dollars off though we like the flannel one this is probably one of our favorite ones <laughs> dude did you guys know there's like literally different sizes of pillows i literally thought pillows were pillows this one this is the one i like though 25 bucks and the 6.99 garbage look at this this is garbage about this nope I like the expensive ones. Dang. No. You're so cute. Say, what's up, dudes? <laughs> you want that? We won't actually wear it, but. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, world. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to do a little IKEA fit check. Vintage 70s 684s. Okay, Landon just moved my camera. Hold on, buddy. Relax. Hold on. Ready? Hi. Hi. 684s, Sambas, 50s bag, um, 70s sweat, sweatshirt, 70s <laughs> tank top. I mean, not tank top, t-shirt. And that's pretty much it for the fit. Pretty lazy today. Um, I did have an FFA, but it's like hot as ever in here. So, hi. Hi. guys we've been walking around i have not found a single thing so far oh 550 90s 550 shorts these are for summertime we'll see found those no t-shirts dude literally the t-shirt rack was like packed and i literally was kind of too lazy to look through all of it if i'm being honest <laughs> because literally i could not push anything so it's like i yeah super hard and inconvenient to look through when the t-shirt rack is too uh, full. <laughs> Hate to complain about that, but I mean, seriously. I'm almost done here, I think. I found a couple single stitch t-shirts, but I am not buying any of them. Here's a vintage Lee crew neck. 90s raglan, not gonna grab that. <laughs> Another 90s raglan. Oh, this one's black, that's kind of nice. Kind of a nice color here, but Probably not gonna grab that. Oh, I'm just not feeling this one today. Oh my gosh, another 90s raglan. Bunch of 90s blank raglans, if you guys are into that. Definitely come out this way at the spot. Another one. Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> oh my gosh, literally I saw like five and I'm not grabbing any of them. See so you guys, I don't hog all the good stuff. I leave like 80% of stuff I see now. Cause I don't need it. That's not vintage, that's old navy. Nope, nope. Ooh, no sweaters. Nothing. Oh boy, nothing. I've got nothing. Found nothing here, guys. Maybe we'll see something at the other Goodwill, but. Nothing crazy. I found like a 70s cardigan. Not picking that one up. And uh, yeah, it is pretty much it. I believe. What the? Dude, what are these? What? <laughs> what are these? Dude. So I think I found Landon some more toys here. Oh, a train set. We're literally just looking for a train set for Landon. Bethany found this one. Iron Man toy to add to his Avengers collection. <laughs> we are at Goodwill number two. Kind of looking real quick. Bethany's waiting in the car. Dude, these are pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Too bad winter's like over, but those would have been pretty sweet for the winter. If I'm being honest today, I'm not really feeling looking, but we're here. Hannah's here with us today, so she's been looking. She bought some good stuff. I did find one really, really cool thing in the last Goodwill, literally while we were waiting to check out. Um, so I'll have to show you guys that in the recap, but 
honestly probably one of the coolest things I've found at a Goodwill. And spoiler alert, it is a vintage jersey that I found and which like I never ever find. So yeah, that's super cool. Yet again, another 90s Fruit of the Loom Raglan blank, dude. So many of them, but I have so many already. So, well, I'm gonna keep looking and then uh, if I find anything, I'll show you guys. And this is honestly the first day going to two Goodwills the same day in a while, it feels like. Um, we did go to, I did go to Salvation Army the other day. I went to an estate sale also, and you guys will see those, see those pickups. Um, I only got a couple clips at the estate sale because uh, I recorded it on my phone, but you guys will see that stuff um, at some point in this video. So stay tuned or just skip to the end for the recap. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, guys, we are back home. I'm gonna show you guys as quickly as possible. I always say that, but I'm gonna try and go really quick, um, show you guys a little bit of a recap of everything that we found in this video. Um, a lot of it was from last week uh, during our Ikea trip that weekend. Um, so yeah, last week, but anyways, starting off, we got this hundreds t-shirt, pretty cool. Nothing crazy, but I used to love the hundreds back in like high school days. I think like 2010 was when I first bought my first hundreds tee. Um, we got this Y2K um, Fox, nicely faded brown colorway. Love the graphic on this one. I just know Y2K stuff for me has been going pretty crazy to be honest. Not crazy, but it's like been selling surprisingly. Um, this one is crazy. Um, it is like a 80s um, mercenaries never die. This is like a metallic type print here. Super cool, that one. I think I posted, shared that one on my story. This one is like a 70s or 80s Coca-Cola t-shirt. You guys know, I already have one of these, but it's got that nice reinforced collar on the sing, signal signal tag there. Nice, that one. I'm not, I don't think I'm keeping any of these, to be honest. Red Wings t-shirt on the TNT tag. I'd almost never find this tag here, but there's that one. We got some 550 jorts. These probably will not fit me. Orange tab 550s, by the way. Nice, this is gonna be perfect for like the spring and summer. So if you guys are in the need of, in need of jorts, let me know, um, those will be for sale. This was at an estate sale. This stuff was at my the estate sale yesterday. I didn't get many clips at this estate sale. I think I got like two clips because it was kind of like a spontaneous thing and the kids had a doctor's appointment, so um, yeah. But we got this, probably my favorite one here is this Ralph Lauren polo on the 90s Fruit of the Loom blank. Yep, 80s or 90s, I believe this one's 90s, but nice raglan cut. They smell good, <laughs> they are clean, but I think they need like a bleach soak or a um, oxy soak. 70s or 80s uh, Austria t-shirt. Um, this one we are keeping, but I probably, honestly, I don't know if I'll wear this, but we have another Peach Festival. Crew neck here from the 90s. That one's cool. Found a pair of 501s made in the USA. These, sadly, don't fit me. Maybe if I lose a little bit of weight, they will fit me, but these are made in the USA. I think this is like my first pair that I've actually found um, without having to pay resale, to be honest. And uh, 501s are good, but I have yet to find my size in a pair at like the thrift or at an estate sale or something. But found these, nice colorway. Sad to say that those will probably be for sale. Uh, there was this other guy there at this estate sale and he was kind enough to uh, hand me this pair of 550s because they were my size. Um, orange tab 550s, black too. Um, I believe these are also made in the USA. Yep, made in the USA, which I feel like is really hard for me to find. I usually find orange tabs. They're usually made in like uh, Mexico or like Guatemala for me. Um, but nice to find a black pair too, made in the USA. So that is a good pair. Um, and then everything I found today, you guys already kind of saw in a clip, except for this thing. I'll show you guys last, but we found these 550 jorts. I'm gonna see if these fit me. They are a nice like olive green colorway, which I think is, I don't think I've ever seen to be honest, but 550 jorts, perfect for the spring and summer, like I said. And then we have this like 70s, maybe earlier. If you guys can kind of see, we have this Michigan jersey, dude. This is literally the first time I've ever found something like this. Material feels super thick. 
Um, this honestly might be like 60s. I just realized it's got like armpit gussets here. If you guys can kind of see, it's kind of dark. If this fits me, I might keep it for a little bit, but found one of my favorite finds that I've ever found, to be honest. If you guys made it this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, hope you guys enjoy the content. I know the thrift like portion of the clips wasn't like my best because I really haven't found much. And a lot of the stuff you guys didn't even really see clips of. So I do apologize for that. But sometimes I'm just not in the right mindset to like film every single thing. So um, yeah, it's perfect for me to just do these recaps where I can literally just show you guys everything in one sitting essentially. Um, but cooking up dinner. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And um, if you guys haven't noticed, I do live stream on this channel, my main channel. Um, I do some gaming stuff and I've been doing some like live thrift haul stuff, which um, I may or may not have already live streamed this stuff that you're seeing in this video because it's just easier to do right there in the moment. Plus it's a little like before I actually post this video, you guys can see the thrift haul. Um, but I've been posting gaming stuff. Um, I've been live streaming gaming stuff. I'm sorry. So um, if you guys want to help me get to like 100 subscribers on my second channel at Texan2, I will be transitioning over to that channel once probably I get to like 100 subscribers. I'll probably just straight up live stream all my gaming stuff on there and you guys won't have to worry about seeing any of that kind of stuff. But if you guys are into it, um, yeah, go ahead and give, <laughs> give that channel a follow. But yeah, okay, without further ado, see you guys later. Okay, bye. Squad inside my airspace, I don't want to do that. Taking all my words back, silence would suffice for you. Well, I'm leading my honesty. I can't watch the only way you win by making me cry. While getting your defenses up inside of your mind.